What's up YouTube? I'm Folke here. Today we're talking about basic training in Hattrick. The first type of training we want to talk about today is keeper training. This is the most simple basic training in Hattrick there is. You can train two keepers each week, one in the cup match or the friendly, and one in the league match. The pros about keeper training is that it's simple because you only train two players each week. The cons is obviously you don't train a lot of players and it's harder to make more profit on skill trading than other types of training. Defending training is a little more advanced because you can actually train 10 players each week. You can train five players in the cup or the friendly match and five players in the league match. Defending is a little slower than other types of training because you can train 10 players in a primary skill at once. The pros about defending training is that you are able to train 10 players in primary skill each week and the cons is probably that you don't have a lot of tactical flexibility and it feels kind of slow to train. Playmaking is the most popular type of training simply because playmaking response to midfield rating, which is the most important rating for normal teams in Hattrick. With playmaking, you can train 10 players each week. You can train three of these for 100% and two of these for 50% each game, meaning three plus two in the league and three plus two in the cup or the friendly matches. Playmaking is a little faster than defending. And here's the pros about playmaking. Obviously, you will improve the most important rating for your team by training playmaking. Cons about playmaking is that a lot of people are training playmaking, meaning that there's a lot of playmaking players on the market. And that means that the price is generally lower than other players. Winger training will let you train four players each game, meaning you can train eight players each week. You can train two wingers in the wing slot for 100% and two backs for 50% in the friendly game or the cup game and in your league game. Winger training is quite fast. It's the least popular of the, of the primary stats, meaning there's uh, not that many pure wingers on the market. It's quite profitable. The pros is that it's fast and you feel, you, you see a lot of progress with your players when you train wing. And the con is obviously that you don't train that many players each week. Start out training as a new team in Hattrick. I would definitely recommend people to start with some of the primary stats. Scoring, keeper, defending, playmaking or winger. Keeper would be a simple choice. You only have to find two trainees. One drawback by training keepers, it keepers early is the fact that good keeper trainees are quite expensive to start out with. Playmaking would make a good choice in order to strengthen your midfield rating initially. Winger or scoring will, will make it feel like your players are progressing fast because they're relatively fast in training. Wing up is probably the easiest to start out with because finding suitable trainees for wingers seems to be the easiest task at this point. Defending, I would only recommend if you are coming back and are restarting a team simply because you have to find 10 suitable trainees. Personally, with the two teams that I've recently started, I'm tra training wing on both of team both of those teams simply because I only have to find four trainees for the 100% spots and as soon as my my economy permits it I'll start to look for usable skill trade trainees on the market what do you guys think what would you select for a starter team if you have any ideas and any any tips you can leave them in the comments that's all for now 